Yeah, that's right. Well, today we did learn that not only are Stone Academy leaders not talking to their students, but they're also stonewalling state officials who are trying to get to the bottom of what the school knew and when. We are going to throw everything we have at them. After receiving more than 100 complaints impacting more than 900 students, Attorney General William Tong announced he's issued a subpoena for access to Stone Academy's records on tuition, marketing, revenue and accreditation, backed up by state lawmakers. What Stone Academy did to you all was wrong and they should pay for it. Students just months away from graduation now left in limbo. The state office of higher ed with a sobering announcement. Some of those hours may not count and these on campus clinicals that were done, those absolutely will not be registered by the nursing board. Down but not out, students say they aren't giving up on their dream. You will see me out there as a nurse. Stone Academy has told students to consider transferring their credits to these four partner institutions, but President Joe Bierbaum has ties to two of them. We asked the question. Joe Bierbaum and his family, Mark Scheinberg, have ties to both of those schools. If we find, if, if we find any violations of law or conflicts of interest, we will take action. Not all the Stone Academy students who gathered at the Capitol to hear the announcement were happy with their public servants. And the second I asked a question why the state allowed Stone Academy to continue taking students when they already had multiple violations, everyone turned their back and walked away. Questions remain on whether Stone Academy misused state and federal funds and whether it engaged in deceptive and predatory practices. One of the largest heists of African American and Latino people in the history of this state. And state lawmakers tell me that in addition to the attorney general's investigation, they're going to be looking at the state laws to see if they can be strengthened to provide more regulation and oversight when it comes to all of these for-profit schools so that what happened at Stone Academy doesn't happen again. We're live at the state capitol complex. Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.